Hello, uh, in this lecture we'll cover uh, some basic JavaScript syntax. Um, let's start by writing our first uh, Hello World in um, Google Earth Engine Code Editor. I'll write um, a print Hello World um, and click Run here. Uh, here we go. I'll see a Hello World um, uh, on the console. So this is uh, literally our first code, uh, JavaScript code on Google Earth Engine Code Editor. Um, JavaScript syntax have different parameter, parameters or characteristics, uh, including strings, numbers, lists, objects, or dictionaries, and you know functions. Uh, let's start with strings. Um, strings we can use a double or a single quotation. For example, here uh, I will write um, a, a declare variable called uh, test string. And that um, I'll define as uh, Google Earth Engine a string. So to print um, that, um, to return that, I'll, I'll write a, a print uh, test string, which is already uh, defined here. And if I run that, it should give me Google Earth Engine. So that's one way to write, uh, to declare um, um, strings uh, in, in JavaScript. Um, Next, we can declare um, numbers, um, you know, using, you know, variable. For example, here in this case, I uh, define uh, a variable uh, number. Uh, I'll assign that uh, 99 and I'll, um, I'll print that, um, that um, variable, which is a number, um, and run that. It should give me the number 99 on the console. Let's run that. Here you go. I have my answer is 99. So um, my answer is here as a string and the variable, which is a number here declared. Uh, and um, the next um, um, parameter in JavaScript is lists. We can you know, define lists using you know, square brackets. So let's define um, our list, uh, which is called um, uh, my list um, uh, variable, and we can define um, anything, but in this case, um, a number. So in this list, I have numbers ranging from zero to five. Uh, let's print that list and print list of numbers. You can write anything here; just it's a text, you know, for you to um, uh, be able to remember. Um, what is um, that variable? Because you have a number, uh, a lot of um, prints here, so just you want you want to be able to differentiate uh, the different um, you know prints. So here you can uh, write any text that that helps you to remember what that specific print is. So here in this case, we'll, we'll uh, re like uh, print um, this my list. I'll, I'll run that, and it should give me. Um, this list uh, numbers ranging from zero to five. Here we go. Here's my list. If I click that, I'll have numbers from zero to five. Okay. The next thing is um, objects in JavaScript. You know, um, or dictionaries. You can define that using you know curly bracket. So let's define our dictionary here. So I'll I'll define a variable called my object, which is my dictionary, using a curly bracket here. And I'll define different. You can define anything in in, in your dictionary. Here in the, in this case, I define a b y. Um, I'll just this, this is just a variable, and in that I'll um, uh, I'll define a string called try. And another um, variable is a nota, which is a number thirteen. And also I have another. Um, um, variable declared item which has a list of um, uh, strings and then I'll close my uh, dictionary using a curly bracket and semicolon to close that um, statement and I'll print my dictionary I can write here this is my dictionary and I'll, I'll um, call that um, dictionary here which is my object uh, I'll run that so I should be able to get all these um, items in that dictionary and then run that here we go so my dictionary here um, I have all the items li listed in that dictionary finally um, in JavaScript we have uh, functions functions will help us to um, uh, optimize um, repeated applications um, so in this case a very simple basic 
a function called test uh, is equal to function and I'll have that element or an input into that function and a curly bracket again and return so it will return anything that you uh, define uh, this is a pretty basic um, you know function in in the upcoming lectures will uh, uh, I'll introduce you to some advanced functions uh, to uh, process and analyze uh, geospatial data